In this Connect the Dots drawing video, we're going to draw an umbrella duck together. Make sure to get your dot to dot printable template in the description below, grab your art supplies and let's draw. So grab your marker and we're going to start here at number 1. And we're going to do a smooth curve all the way to number 6. Now we're going to skip to number 7 and continue on to number 11. And if you have to work backwards to get that smooth curve, that's okay. Now here at 11, you're curving into number 12, like that, up to 13, and a bump out to 14 like this. And now we're going to keep on going to 16. And I want you to keep on going to about there, which is in between 10 and 9. This is going to be the mouth of our duck. Let's give him a bit of a smile too. Back at 16, curving down, up to 18, into 19. And again, we're going to keep on looping all the way around until we get to in line with number 10 right here and then connect back to number 11 and back at 19 what we're going to do is curve and connect to one right here now I want you to go back up between six and seven now that we did the head of our duck we're going to do a little tuft of hair so you could make your hair however you like why don't you play and have fun with it I'm going to make my hair a little spiky and then connect back between each number. Back at 20, we're going to work on the chest of our duck. So we're going to curve a bit to 21. And now we're going to zigzag a little bit. So we're going to bump out and connect to 22 to a point. Up to 23. Down to 24. Up to 25. And now we're going to go and keep on going to number 30. And we're going to stop there. Now here I want you to skip to 31 and we're going to do a curve all the way to 34. And again, if you have to go backwards, however you have to position your hand to get your smooth curve, you do what you have to do. And if you have to stop a few times, that's all right. Now we're going to come back down to 35 like this and swoop up to 36 and now here we're going to do a bit of a wave so 37 curving to 38 and we're going to curve up through 39 and connect to number four now I'm going to go back and let's work on the ducks eyes right now so just above where his beak is we're going to do his eyes so somewhere between here. I'm going to follow this curve of his mouth. And we're going to curve like this. Work on his eye and then we're going to do a big oval. We're going to do another one inside. And then finally there's the highlight of his eye. And then for fun, let's give him an eyebrow. Now I'm going to go to his body here and let's work on the wing. So roughly in line with number 26 and 1, you're going to do a point right about there. And you're going to swoop down and around about in line with 32, oh, and I guess here, 27, somewhere about there. And you're just going to do a big curve. And then in a little bit, you're going to come up again and come around. Back, come around and in and we're going to do a bit of an S curve here as well and stop it about in line with number two now let's go to this cluster here and let's start working on the boots so we've got letters here A through H and I want you to go A to B with a straight line and just past B you're going to curve up and almost do like a 
a curve right here to do the toe of the boot. And just past B, I'm going to go through B, curve up and around to E like this. And basically straight to F and curving up to G. And then a straight line to H. And now we curve all the way back to A. Now if you like, if you want to do straight lines, you can always use a ruler, trust a ruler. What I'm going to do is go from number 27 to J and do a straight line like this. And the same thing, I to 28. And now we're going to just keep on curving from A just behind the leg to finish off the inside of the boot. Now just for fun, let's add the sole of our boot too. Now we're going to do these cluster of letters here and do the other boot. So A to B, straight line. Back here from B, upwards a little bit through C, stop at D like this. And now we're doing almost a straight line to E, curving up a little bit to F. Kind of like this. And we're doing straight to G and curving up on H just a little bit to do his heel. And then straight to I. And now here, I to A, curving like this. Now with my ruler again, I'm going to go between 30 and 31, and I'm just going to draw a straight line into the boot and a little bit past the number. So back here, like this and another one here. Now what I'm going to do is do a curve at these two lines to do the leg. We we'll finish off the leg. Let's finish off the back of the boot too and curl outwards like that. And also we can't forget the sole of the boot starting at D and curving out. And all you're doing is following the other line of the boot. Now we're going to go back to number five and we're going to work on the umbrella. So from five to 40 and 41, you're actually doing a big curve. 41 is the point. So you're going through 40 to 41. And this is the easy part. From 40, you're curving all the way to 49 one big curve. So if you have to do it in small sections, that's okay. If you have to turn the page, that's okay. And from 49, curving to a point at 51. And then curving through 52 to number 10. Now we're going to be doing a few curves in the middle here between 41 and 49. Now what we're going to do is draw the duck's other wing and he's going to be holding the stick to the umbrella. So somewhere around 23, you're going to take a line and draw a dot right about there. We're going to curve up and out and back in, just like this. And then a couple of bumps. One, two. And now from here as well, let's draw. I guess these are the fingers you could call them. Like this. Now, I always like to use my ruler for straight lines just to make sure that we show properly the duck holding the umbrella handle. Because this line is going to go and extend all the way past and up to the top of the umbrella. So if you want, you can take this and draw with a pencil first. Because if you make a mistake, it's easy to fix. So we drew one line and now we take that same angle and we move it over here just to make sure that right here 
we make sure that the duck looks like he's holding the umbrella. Right? We'll go through up to the beak, past his head here, and a little spot right there so we know that it ex extends under the top here. Now what we can do is finish off the ends. So let's make this rounded right here. And let's take this portion and round it off on the top too. Now let's just finish off the wings so you can make sure that you see it connecting to his body. There we go. Now let's draw these lines from our umbrella back to the center point on the top because we want to make different colors of our umbrella. So from here, we're going to take this point and curve it all the way up. Like this. And let's not forget the inside of the umbrella as well. Now as a final touch, let's make our duck in a pool of water. So let's do a few squiggly lines right at the bottom here to make him standing in a puddle. And then just for fun, let's add some splashes right here. And we've drawn our duck. I know that took a little bit of work, but he looks great. Now we're going to color him. I'm using lots of different colors in this picture. I'm going to make my duck yellow, but you go ahead and make your duck whatever color you want. I'm going to add shadows later on to the picture, so make sure that you have your darker version of each color. A duck holding an umbrella is kind of silly, isn't it? I mean, ducks like water, right? Now here you can have some fun with the patterns on your boots. I'm going to do polka dots, but you can have fun with stripes, stars, hearts. Have fun! Now that the yellow in my duck is dry, I'm using my darker yellow to work on the shadows. Our duck has rubber boots to keep his feet warm and dry when he's playing in the puddles. But did you know that real ducks don't have blood vessels or nerves in their feet, so they don't actually feel the cold? Ducks also have webbed feet. Did you know that? That's why they can swim so well. How well can you swim? I like red and blue as my colors for my umbrella. But go ahead and pick your own colors. Remember, this is your picture and you color it however you like. I'm using my light colors for the top of the umbrella and I'm going to use darker ones for the underside to make it look like it's in shadow. And as a final touch, what I'm going to do is color our puddle that our duck is playing in and I'm using a white acrylic marker to give it some highlights. Well, that's the end of this video, everybody. I hope you had fun, just like I did. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.